Arts therapy, it's one of these things that is hard to define, just like the arts sometimes is hard to define. What is art? That's what's so beautiful about it and so exciting about it. Where, where does it begin? Where does it end? I believe that art therapy helps anybody because it helps um, us to connect with ourselves and that's part of the human experience to discover self to understand self um, and to explore what's really going on for us at any given time. I work with all sorts of people who want to explore their feelings, emotions and thoughts. And I work in all sorts of settings. So I work with people one-on-one, -on -one, I work with them in groups, in schools and in mental health hospitals. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to art therapy. One of the challenges as an art therapist moving from different settings is to pivot to the different needs of clients. And today we'll see a diverse range of students um, coming in with different types of needs. So some students need what they call hand over hand um, to help them and some need repetitive instructions. And it's just to help them and guide them. And one of the things that I need to do in coming into a setting is to understand how uh, the students respond to their teachers. So it's very much a collaborative process. Really the focus is giving these students a wonderful experience and for them to enjoy art making. Well done! As therapists, we're wanting um, people to feel safe and not judged and for us not to lay on our viewpoint. So let's look at the colour red. Red can be used to express anger for some people, but in another culture, it's good fortune. And then for another person, red means love. We can't have very rigid viewpoints about what something is. And so it's very, very important to allow the client to share what that symbol is. What does it mean for them? Sometimes it's hard to find the right word to hit what's going on, but the, the painting or the sculpture or the collage could do that. I think the biggest misconception is that it's only for arty people and that it is only for an artist or a creative person. There's a lot of anxiety around that. And I feel that perhaps the anxiety has come through growing up and uh, an education system that is very much outcomes focused rather than the freedom of it's okay to create. We don't have to be a famous artist to enjoy making art. And my heart is to shift that and for people to see that it, it can benefit anyone if you just want to have a go. And to be part of someone's healing journey, that's a very beautiful thing to be a part of. Mm -hmm.